Welcome back YouTube. Last video I uploaded was the V8 Escort. Been a bit quiet recently. Obviously Christmas has been here and uh, what have you. However, I have sold the V8 Escort. I wanted to replace it with something I could use. Something that wasn't going to lose any money. Now I contemplated various things. I wanted something I could put kids in so that I could have fun but not lose money. The aim of the game is buy cars that don't lose money. So with the options for that being slim, I looked at, we looked at a Audi RS4, high tax, good cars, just maybe a bit too civilized. C63 AMG, again, I'm much more of a classic classic car guy, so I tend to like something old, something a bit quirky, something different. Looked at C63 AMG, mm, nah, I just couldn't, couldn't fetch myself to do it. So yeah, I'll show you what I bought. So without further ado, I present to you before I put my woolly hat on because it's absolutely Baltic here. Absolutely Baltic. So well, let's spin this camera around. The Impreza, the mighty Impreza. Always like these, never, never. Driv a couple, driv a classic Turbo 2000, wasn't particularly happy with it. Driv a New Age STR, not an STR, New Age WRX, which was supposedly 300 horsepower. Weren't particularly happy with it. So I started looking, tried, inquired a few blob eyes, couldn't get anything. Literally got annoyed, didn't buy one at all. Uh, just sat there. A friend messaged me a link of one which just come up for sale and this is it it did come on some smaller wheels the original wheels I've actually bought these wheels and put them on however they're not staying I just feel they're just a little too big for the car so we're just gonna drop down an inch just to make it more now a few of the eagle eyes will have already spotted on the car a spoiler I'll get to that. And a few even more eagle eyed will spot the roof's vent. Now, <clears throat> as I said, I didn't want to buy any standard Subaru because a standard one would lose money. And again, eagle eye at ones of you will notice there's no side skirts. And I'll show you exactly why there's no side skirts and why it's got the roof flat. RA. Now, the Type RA means race altered, rally altered Subaru. So it basically means it's lighter. And how we get the, them lighter is removing stuff like side skirts. Uh, as far as I'm aware, don't quote me on this, I possibly may be wrong, but they don't come with central locking electric windows and a few other bits you can buy them with it but they're all specced in again some more about weight losses no rear wiper and believe it or not this spoiler as loud and obnoxious as it is is the standard Subaru spoiler these the titanium I thought they were aluminium but they're not they're actually titanium so I'll uh, show you what's different on this car and what what it, the, the actual version is a Subaru Impreza STI version 6 well sorry Subaru Impreza WRX STI version 6 Type RA Limited. Now you get a normal version six, 
STI. Then you get a version 6 STI Type RA. And then on top of that, they do the Type RA Limited, which is like it said, it's a limited edition to only 2000 made. As far as I'm aware, the spoiler was an optional extra. The electrics pack for the electric windows is optional extra. It's got also got power fold mirrors, these quirky check floor mats. It comes, if you can see, with these quirky seats, which very oddly, which is exactly how they come, don't match the rears. So, yeah, there's a Momo steering wheel from the factory. Let me get in the car. And you can see down here the plaque. 1125 out of 2000 comes with climate control uh, pretty much the car's standard bar a few goodies let's have a, have a good look so let's pop on it well you will have spotted straight away there's a turbo timer That's the controller for the Defi boost gauge, which is there. So basically you can record your boost and then play it back when you've pulled over safe. That one is the g -Ready Pro I believe it's Profit B boost controller. And this one is the suspension control, electronic suspension control. We'll get to that now. Again, like most important pretzels, lightweight alley bonnet and boot. Uh, here we go, boys. I say boys because um, my analytics literally say 100% of my viewers are men. So if there's any women watching, apologise for that. But uh, figures don't lie. So yeah, as we're on about suspension, these little units are basically little motors now it has little motors on each corner which connect to the dampers the coil the coil overs on this car are g ready or greedy or greedy or however you want to call it but uh, yeah they are and these basically just sit on top and like i said the motors so they adjust the damping so when you put it all in you calibrate everything and then you can sit in the car, adjust the knob and stiffen your front dampers up if you're on track and you feel it's a bit soft. Now the difference is over the standard WRX for the STI is, as you see, they, they come with red inlet manifold. This is absolutely bone stock original. It doesn't look like it's ever been off car, so all the paint's flaked. The STI's come with larger intercooler, carbon fibre strut brace top. We've got the intercooler water sprayer and the intercooler water sprayers under the bonnet. Other than that, it's pretty standard under here. Now, when I bought the car, it had some Japanese stupid head unit in. It was a DVD nav thing. So my mate come over and he, he just ripped into the dash and uh, we battered on and uh, got it pulled out. And I got this from Alfred's and put this in. I had to buy a little sub loom for it, but it's fairly straightforward. Anyone straightforward enough will be able to sort that. But while we was taking all the modules out of the glove box for the sat nav DVD nav, you can see we've still got all the malarkey on the windscreen for it. I'm not taking them out yet. We found this. Hid under the carpet. It's a G Ready E Manage ECU, which, uh, yeah. So, some little Japanese guy has been uh, adding goodies to it. So, what's special about why I bought this over a normal UK car? Now, an Impreza P1 is basically a watered down Japanese version with some Pro Drive bits on. I for my opinion of them is very overhyped, but it is what it is. 
P1 doesn't come with this. This little button is what we call the DCCD, Driver Controlled Centre Differential. Now you'll see on the clocks, if I fire the key in, wherever I put the key, Hold on guys, lost it on a... No, no, it's here, it's here. If I fire the old Subaru up. You can see... Oh, let me zoom in for you. Right, so that little gauge there on the left is a DCCD. So if I scroll the wheel, all the way back is 70% rear wheel drive, 30% front. So as I scroll it forward, it gives different percentage. So if I go all the way forward, like that, that is a 50-50 split. So 50% front wheel drive, 50% rear wheel drive. So uh, pretty much that wraps up this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you didn't I do apologise, if there's anything you's, you's wanted to see let me know, you know I can include it in future videos. What I have got, I have got a friend who's got a what, an Impreza wide track, now if a few of you don't know what a wide track is, I will run through it all on the videos, it is probably one of the better UK cars we got 
and I will explain when we look at his video as to why the wide track to me is the UK car to have. So yeah, cheers for coming back. Uh, sorry we've got no uh, old school retro Fords in this episode. We will get back to them at some point. Uh, got plenty to go up. But yeah, if, if you like this video, like, you know, please like it, please subscribe. I have, I think what we've got, 1,025 followers now, which is is good. So yeah, you know, I, I do appreciate if, if you do like it and, and subscribe, you know, it does mean a lot. And uh, thank you all for watching and uh, see you next time.